Hey everybody, it's Kale, and we got a fuck up. And you might look at this and think, Kale, how could this be a fuck up? This looks awesome. Well, sometimes fuck ups are awesome, kids. Um, so what I am wearing is what should have been an absolutely out of this world motif coat from the 1920s. And this is one of those patterns that like when you find it, you can't believe it. Because one, you got to really commit to it because this is all motifs. Um, but two, look how much fun you get to have with it. I used all of these citrusy colors because I had them. And then I needed something because I ran out of citrus colors. And I had some blue. And I thought, that's going to pop. It's going to look amazing. And it really does. And I think you can especially see it on the back. Um, however... The instructions called for knitting worsted and a 3.5 millimeter hook and a uh, stitch count of six stitches per inch. And here's the thing. Here's the thing. It is very common when you're looking at some patterns that you use a 3.5 millimeter hook on a worsted weight yarn because you're going for a tight switch stitch and since this is a coat pattern originally it made sense to me that like you would be having to work to get that six stitches per inch in a worsted weight but you can do it with a 3.5 millimeter so the goal of this is to be a very tightly stitched garment so it keeps you warm um there's supposed to be another uh row of blue that goes under this row of blue and this coat is supposed to hit you at the knees. You'll notice it's hitting me at the knees without that final row. That is because I was wrong. When it said knitting worsted, they meant the style of yarn, but you want it in a sport weight. And I know that that is, that is one of those headachey things you deal with with vintage patterns, where knitting worsted was a way that yarn was made that was, I believe, just like, it held up better. And so the people going out and shopping for it in the 1920s would know the exact brand and what they were looking for. And it was likely a sport weight yarn based on the stitch cut, uh, stitch count and that sort of thing. Um, but I didn't know that. This is all worsted weight. Uh, all of the all of the citrusy colors are Knit Picks Brava. The blue is Karen One Pound. Um, and... I mean, it was really fun to try to do. It's 173 motifs if you make the final 24 for the second row of what is now a robe um, because I didn't need that much robe. And in fact, this isn't even my robe uh, because you might notice it does not fit me. It's a little big. Um, but there is somebody in this room who could put this on and show you how good it looks when it actually fits your body. Who could that be? Okay. And here's the person in the house who can wear it. And doesn't he look fantastic? So it's still a little long in the sleeves, which is very, very funny to me. Uh, but if you look at the shoulders and you look at the back, um, this is where it's supposed to be hitting, kind of at the right at the very top edge uh, I guess not the top edge, but right under the shoulder blade on the back, the, uh, the hexagons on the sleeves. Caroline, turn this way. Thank you. Uh, the hexagons on the sleeves are all fitted very nicely over the shoulder. By the way, it wasn't just that it got this big that I realized I was using the wrong yarn. Once I got it all, all of it put together to this point and realized how long it was, I threw it in the wash and let it soften up. And if you will turn around for me one more time, honey, this right here is telling me a lot that this is the wrong size yarn because this should be flat against the back and the collar should be down lower on the neck. Um, but, you know, you live, you learn, you spend several months working with 3,600 yards of yarn and in the end, your husband has a very nice, uh, has a very nice robe that he likes very much. Uh, I did do one thing different than the overall pattern besides not doing the bottom part. Um, I came in and I added belt loops for the belt. 
And I guess the belt is a different thing, too. Uh, so that it could be a robe, and he didn't have to worry about the buttons that are supposed to go on this coat. So, um, other than the yarn weight issue, uh, there are no problems with this pattern. It's just, you're committing yourself to a lot of work. It does not give you instructions on how to join. I used black yarn to join it all because I thought it popped real nice, and I was right. Um, one more spin for us because you look so good. Hey, I'm proud of my work. Uh, and so I think that's everything. Um, if I, if the pattern is available, I will link it down in the basement. Uh, if it's not available, you can just hit me up for it. And as always, if you enjoy what I do here, please like, and subscribe and share and share. Anyway, I update about every 10 days. So see you in 10 days. There you go.